Hey everybody, welcome to Formula Essentials. My name is Maria Marquis, and in this video, we're going to talk about the concatenate formula. Now, even though it's got lots of syllables, concatenate is just a fancy word for putting different things together. Those things can be text, the result of a formula, information in a table, and more. But it allows you to really create some meaning out of a lot of separate pieces. So here at Coda, we use concatenate to create dynamic messages that remind us in Slack or remind us in Gmail about meetings, telling us the pre-reads, all of that good stuff. But concatenate is a way for you to just make sense of a lot of structured information. So let's take a look at one of the first ways to get started. What we could do is we could change the label of this button of email task list, we could actually make it say email the tasks for and have it populate whatever today's date is. So let's just go ahead and right click it. Instead of just putting in the text here, I'm going to toggle on the formula option. And I'm going to say equals concatenate. And now I decide what are the pieces that I want to link together in my little concatenate pile. So the first one is a little phrase, email the tasks for, then I'm going to do a space, then I'm going to do a comma. Now here's the next bead on my concatenate necklace, which is uh, today. So this is a helpful little formula that automatically pulls in whatever today's date is. So it's going to change every day based on what you've got. So now if I press enter, notice the button now says email the tasks for 9-15-2020. If I were to come here tomorrow, it would say 9-16-2020, etc. So a great way to really customize it. You could also combine this with our user formula. So I'm going to go ahead, toggle on the formula builder. All right, we can be like equals concatenate. And here we're going to say the user. And then it's time to add a task. So now we've got Maria Marquis, it's time to add a task. And notice I missed the space here. And that's a common mistake when it comes to concatenate. So you can always just come in, add that space, and now it looks a little bit cleaner. Maria Marquis, it's time to add a task. So a great way to put those things together to create these customized dynamic labels. We can also use this when we're thinking about our packs. So for example, this button emails the tasks. Let's go ahead and open that button up. There's another concatenate opportunity here, which is the subject line. Now there's nothing wrong with setting a subject of weekly tasks, but wouldn't it be great if it also had that dynamic, hey, these are for today, so that if I'm going through my email, I can very quickly find what I'm looking for. So just like before, we're going to type equals and concatenate, and we're going to say the notes from, and do the space, of course, do that little quote to tell us that we're ready for the next bead, and then today. So now we would see in the subject line notes from whatever today's date is. So this just makes it feel more alive, more dynamic, and more real to your users. Now another way that concatenate can really empower folks is by combining all the information in a table into a usable unit of information. So what do I mean by that? Let's jump over to my launch calendar. So here I've got a table with all of the information about each launch. And maybe I want to create like a little elevator pitch for every launch. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a column to create the little message. So here's our elevator pitch message. Now I'm going to type equals and I'm going to say, hey, it's concatenate time. Concatenate. And now I decide all the pieces I want to be together. So I will put the first one, today we're launching space and a quotation mark. And then here I'm going to put in the launch headline. Then I'm going to say it's for space quotation mark. And then I'm going to do the audience. There we go. Who is it for? And then let's add one more bit of uh, the, the too long didn't read. If you need to describe it, space then the too long didn't read. So now I can press enter. Oh, and let's take a look at what happened here. You can always go back and edit your formulas. Oh, looks like I had an extra closed parentheses. I got too excited. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Now, there we go. Here's so, let's actually uh, open this up a little bit so we can see, make this a little bit bigger. So now I've got my elevator pitch that's combining all of these different table pieces. Today, we're launching Enjoy Your Cake Anywhere. It's for everyone. If you need to describe it, 
here is my description, which is just some, some, silly, <laughs> some silly words right now. So now I could take this elevator pitch message. I could copy paste it into an email, copy paste it into Slack, or using one of our packs, I could automatically have this be sent out with a push of a button. And this is automatically created for every single uh, item in my list here. So concatenate not only allows you to have some fun with dynamic labels, but it really allows you to summarize information and make some really clear combinations using all the different parts of your table. All right, now it's your turn. Take a look at your docs, find some opportunities to concatenate, and I'll see you next time.